Hi guys, it's Sinam Kafour here with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. We're going to be taking a look at what tweaks have been made to the multi-window feature on this phablet. And as normal, you can activate it by going to your tabs from the notification section and selecting it from there, or going to your menu, settings, my device tab, and you'll see an option there for multi-window. And just make sure that slider is set to green, and you'll notice a tab pop up along the left-hand side, which you can activate and deactivate by holding down the back button and notice it disappears and holding down the back button makes it reappear. Once the tab is visible, you can add and remove programs from this list by hitting the button down here, hitting edit, and as previously, just drag and drop from the tab what apps you want to add and remove from it and hit done at the bottom and it saves your selections for next time. Now, you'll notice down here, there's one extra selection for create and this is for a preset button. And what this allows you to do is allows you to set two screens as a preset and it saves it towards the left hand side. So we'll just try it out and we'll try out Twitter and let's see YouTube maybe, here we go. So we'll drag and drop those as we want them as a preset set of applications. Um, once that loads in, there we go. What we'll do, go back into the bar, select create from here and it automatically generates Twitter and YouTube for you. But you can give it something more descriptive if you prefer, but I'll leave it at that. So we'll hit okay. And notice it saves those presets as its own Twitter slash YouTube application along the left hand side. So next time you wanna go into it, just slap open the bar, hit that button and two applications open up at the same time. Incidentally, if you wish to remove a preset that you've created, hit the button down here, hit edit, and notice it puts a minus symbol next to your preset. Hit that minus button and it wants to confirm the deletion. Hit OK and it re removes it for you. And then you can simply hit done and that preset is then removed. And what you can now do as part of the new controls is have recently opened applications within those two screens that you have here. And just to show you what I mean, I'm gonna drag Chrome down here and I'm also going to drag let's have a look, the gallery down here as well as if you can just open that up again chat on right so if you tap that blue button go to the recently opened applications and look what it does it allows you to flick through the applications that you've opened up on that section of the window and this works on whether they're on the top or bottom of the multi-window application so we'll go back to youtube going back into the options for this blue button here and the second selection that you can make flips the windows around so you can change one application to be on the top or bottom depending on what you prefer third selection that you can see with the small hand allows you to share whatever's on the screen or that side of the multi-window application into the other application on the top or bottom whichever you prefer so just to show you say if i load up a email application as well as say uh, the internet application and I see an article here that I want to copy some text or a picture from I'll just tap that little icon hit that share button say if I want to copy this section of the article drag and drop and boom there you go as easy as that it does do pictures as well and just to show you if I'll just scroll back up again and say if I want to copy that picture there again pick it up and let it go and boom it attaches it as an attachment to that email that i've got on that top selection of the multi-window application but the sharing media button that we've just used is not compatible with all applications so it's a bit hit and miss of what applications do actually work but it's a cool feature nonetheless and obviously the third button in that row of application is to get rid of whatever application that you had on the screen just to exit out of it but i'll show you a cool feature that i like in terms of multitasking if we just get youtube going on one say we get going i don't know start playing pewdiepie there we go youtube's playing on the top section of multi window and if i open up the sidebar notice there's a arrow next to youtube so you can open up more than one youtube application so if i do that again hover over the top of it and if i say decide to drag and drop on this side of the screen notice what happens here yeah, i've got two youtube applications running side by side and if i tap into a video for JJ, KSI's channel, and if I turn up the volume, how cool is that? Two YouTube videos running at exactly the same time. And say for example, you wanna browse a web while viewing two YouTube videos at the same time. Bring out your S Pen, activate the pen window feature by holding down the button, draw your window on the screen, and load up the internet application and boom, there we go. I'm reading an article that I was last looking at for HM Revenue and Customs on the Telegraph website while viewing 
two YouTube videos at the same time using the multi-window feature. How cool is that? And those were some of the tweaks for the multi-window feature on the Galaxy Note 3. As ever, any comments or questions you guys have got, hit them up in the comment section down below there. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video in a lot way at all. And if you haven't already done so, hit subscribe. It's also down there as well. It doesn't cost you a penny. And you can also check out some of our forthcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Have a wicked day. And we'll see you next time.